Durham does, doesn't have enough officers to cover their streets right now. It's so bad, in fact, that criminal investigations are going to be put on pause as the investigators have to go out and hit the streets to patrol. CBS 17's Crystal Price read through stacks of internal emails to see just how thin the ranks are at Durham PD. Well, there are now 80 officer vacancies here in Durham, and internal emails say that officers who work in specialized units might have to start going out on patrol. Now, the Durham Police Department is being very tight-lipped about when or if this is happening, but my sources tell me this is expected to happen very soon. I, I, as a citizen, I'm concerned that we're down so many police officers. Henry Silver lives in a neighborhood where he hears gunfire frequently. But there was a, a young man shot to death. He says he wants the city to be protected. With so many vacancies, the chances of you getting a quick response are reduced. So how bad is the police officer shortage in Durham? I requested internal emails sent by Durham police officials over the last few months. I got back hundreds of exchanges. That included data from patrol shifts from July to September, where patrols were only staffed 50 to 70 percent. In this email from October 6th, Deputy Chief Joseph Kelly told police officials that with an impending amount of resignations and retirements, they needed to look at using auxiliary resource units to supplement uniform patrol should patrol vacancies continue to increase. The email says this would include having those who work in criminal investigations, the TAC team, and community services to fill in on patrol. He went on to say that all officers are police officers, regardless of assignment. That same email also mentioned looking at reducing the number of in-person calls for service they respond to. I asked Police Chief Patrice Andrews if police have started reducing the in-person calls for service they respond to. But none of our calls, our officers are responding to every single call that comes through 911. Is there a chance that they may have to cut back on that if the staffing gets to a certain point? Cutting back on calls that we respond to? At this point, no. At this point now. In Durham, Crystal Price, CBS 17 News. Crystal, thanks. And the pay for Durham police is one factor that's been blamed on officers leaving that department. Next month, the Durham City Council will hear a proposal for a pay increase. Thousands of jobs are coming to North Carolina. 